There we go. That looks good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like that. <laughs> we got someone flying that knows what he's, he's doing. He's smiling. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome back to Tiny Flight Week. This is a fun week on the channel. I'm having a really good time. We're gonna take a look at something just a little bit different today that we haven't done. Did we get that on camera? Nope. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, almost. No. <laughs> Sorry. The plane went down right behind me. Landed. We've got a very small, brushless, ready to fly, nice hobby grade race drone. This is the Novice 2. We'll have a link in the description box below if you want to check it out. Now I know this is just a small thing, like to most people I don't know if you'd really care, but the Fly More package comes with 10 batteries. <laughs> I, I love more than one battery. If it's a good product and a company can get behind the product and it's a little guy like this, send it with more batteries. I don't care if it's 10 or 20 more dollars. Give us the batteries. That's what we want to see. So I like that. Now there are options you can pick up like without the goggles, without the radio. Uh, you can bind it up to your own thing, you know, but the ready to fly, fly more package, which is the most stuff you can get in that case, has 10 batteries. Guys, this is a 5.8 gigahertz FPV signal on here, so it is kind of like a race drone. I know we have a lot of uh, newer race drone pilots that watch our videos, but also a few pros. And so uh, the one thing that's really neat about the battery setup on here, I say 10 batteries, you may notice here on the back, there's a Y split for the battery plug on the drone, and then two batteries, believe it or not, down underneath on this carbon fiber frame. What the What's holding the battery in is a 3D printed little mold, and so it's a little bit flexible, a little bit rubbery, and that's what's holding in with tension your flight batteries. These are 460 milliamp, lithium high volt batteries. So they don't go to 4.2 volts per cell, they charge up to 4.35 volts per cell. I should have brought my little new charger that I used. Although this comes with the charger, it doesn't come with a cord to get from the charger to the wall. First time I've ever seen that. I've, I've noticed some other reviewers had the same thing. I thought maybe ours just didn't get packed in. The reason they do that is because you can plug in I think it's like a, a three to six cell with an XT60 plug and charge all your batteries using a larger flight battery. Did you know that, Abby? No. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. But still not what I want to do. I <laughs> used my nice little one cell battery charger. I think we'll put a review on it on the channel maybe in a week or so. Anyway, I think that's enough talk. As I slide in my second battery, we are going to fly our maiden flight here on uh, on two packs. So hey, we might be able to get a total of five flights in. I don't know. If these are short flights, we'll do more than one. Let's fly. All right, Nate. Okay, yeah, you guys can probably see, I believe we got a good screen recording going right now, or uh, the DVR is recording on the goggles. It's pretty windy. You can probably hear that in the mic. Uh, we're bound up. A lot of telemetry on the screen. Okay, and, lost you already. Sorry, that's okay, that's okay. It took off a little faster <laughs> than I expected. I think we start off right in Acro mode or air mode. It's a little. Um, oh a little my gosh! Cut. There's no way I can film this. No, oh, that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. You can maybe just get a shot of it hovering here. I'll go nice and docile for a second. So you realize this it. is like the size of an oh, ant. It's a little gnat, yeah. And we're standing right behind the windsock, so oh, okay. there's that too. Well, I want to just fly around and have some fun. This is the ready to fly radio. You know, I haven't flown on a cheaper radio like this in a while, so. Oh, no, we're not in we're not in acro mode at all uh, when I go or at least not air mode Let's see if I can still have can I even get upside down with it? Yeah, okay. I just didn't have I'm in acro mode not air mode So in order to flip and roll I have to have power to the props and so if I go zero throttle I don't have that other than that it took a second to get used to There we go Nice. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is fun all right i love all the telemetry on screen i've got like a range let's see what's that in the top left is that my signal strength yeah i think so my battery's at the very top center i mean you could clean this up i don't love that the name's at the bottom and stuff you can plug this into beta flight or something and clean all that up oh those are cool flips thanks those are just front flips whoa <laughs> How's it handling in the wind? Uh, really well, yeah. It's like it's like there's no wind at all. Like I love race drones because you can fly them in just tons of wind, uh, and this actually has really good video quality in my opinion. It is a little bit shaky, so like 
I, I don't know if the props are not balanced right, but when I'm juicing it, everything gets a little bit vibrating. Other than that, this is nice. This is a nice little unit that you can just throw together and get in the air if you want to get a taste of the race drone life um, on a small scale and not having to worry about building your own rig. I mean, as as of right now, from what I can, yeah, see, it's, I, now, I just now saw in the bottom right corner, it shows acro mode. So that's on the heads up display. This is all right. What else do we have going on here? Timer in the top right. Yeah, that was nice. Those are nice rolls. Okay. Can you still do your split S? Oh my gosh. Let me put a fresh battery in and I'll, I'll give it a shot. Battery's getting low and at a four and a half minute flight, you know, I am really happy with that. It might've been about a four minute flight. Uh, um, my camera's at three minutes. Well, then maybe I had it sitting on the ground longer than I realized. Yeah. That's still not horrible for the maneuvers I'm throwing at it and stuff. Let's just land in the tall grass here. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, there we go. I, li <laughs> I like that. Okay, I'm taking off. Uh, I got it in air mode and I'm really happy about that. This should be a lot more fun because I can go zero throttle and still control it around. Yeah, this is nice. This is cool. I I'm really happy I found this. I'm gonna have a lot of fun flying at parks and stuff with this. Yeah, that is fun. I'm gonna be pumping through the batteries on this now. I'm really glad it came with 10. <laughs> the wind is affecting me some. I'm flying into the wind now. I mean, it picked up a lot, but not so much where I'm worried about it. This is just insane. I love air mode on this. So just a couple presses of the buttons on the radio and you can change the mode that you're in. I did that on the ground though. And I mean, you can fly nice and smooth. It feels like the Expo is set on this pretty well. I think we got someone taking off. Hey, I might be able to record. Helicopter. Okay. I'm gonna, you tell me about where he's at, Abby. I'm gonna need you to. He's to your left. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get that helicopter in the air. Woo! Oh my gosh, he is. Big helicopter on a windy day. Where's he at now? Across the field. Let's see if I can get him on the drone. Going in front of us. Yeah, I see him. I got him. There he is. Now this is cool. You guys, we should have a little bit of fun with this. He is up there. That is a big, terrifying helicopter doing some cool stuff. I'm gonna steer clear of him, but also, now if we had a GoPro on here, this would look a little bit better, but I still can see him. And boy, I can hear him. That's a scary sound when you got goggles on. Let me I tell can't you. point the camera at your face right now. It's okay. <laughs> This is so cool, you guys. <laughs> Little tiny toothpick race drone in the air with a giant helicopter tearing up the sky. Look at that. Oh man, that's cool. There he goes. I'm getting a good, I mean, I'm keeping my distance because he would not have taken off if he didn't want to fly with me. He knew I was in the air, but I still want to keep a respectful distance on that. This is just a cheap little race drone versus the cost of that. So, all right, we're losing our video signal. I think our flight battery's getting oh a little low. Did you gosh. see that? Yeah, <laughs> oh that was cool. <laughs> oh my Not gosh. that close. There we go. That looks good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like that. <laughs> we got someone flying that knows what he's, he's doing. He's smiling. <laughs> yeah. This will be a good video. Is that Mike flying that? Yeah, it's Mike. <laughs> All right, Mike. <laughs> That was nice. Okay, first time I've done this with a uh, helicopter in the air. I'm gonna land this for safety's sake and just because I've had enough adrenaline for the day. <laughs> gonna land in the grass. Mm -mm -mm. That was cool. There, back to acro mode. Top right button did that. Upside down, but man, that was fun. <laughs> Mike, that was nice. I circled around you when you hovered. Oh yeah. And that was sweet. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be good. Okay. Now that is why I like the hobby, <laughs> and that's why I like Mike. <laughs> he does it. He'll just he'll put whatever he wants in the air, and I would too. That is, I mean, unless it's like a you know five thousand dollar thing or something, you know, you, you can take it easy on that, but. Mike will just throw his stuff in the air, especially if he knows I'm flying too. We're respectful of each other, but also I knew when he stopped to hover there, he wanted me to circle around him. Come on, that was cool. I only wish that I had a bigger race drone at the time. And a better camera. And a better camera because I know you guys are seeing a little dot. That's what I was seeing too. 
but then when I got that circle around Mike, oh my gosh, <laughs> that was cool, right? That's the first time we've done anything it's like really that on the cool. channel. Well, all that was done with this little, that was my second flight ever. You guys witnessed my first flight, getting get a feel for it. I found air mode very, very happily, and it just felt at home for me. This is a really fun little race drone. Carbon fiber frame, the signal quality was great, even here at this, like, I mean, you wouldn't want to take it too far. I'm sure the range isn't insane on this little tiny basic antenna, but I've got three more batteries, it's actually six more batteries, that I could fly on and just keep the fun rolling. And with the charger that I have at home, it doesn't take long at all to get the batteries charged. We'll have uh, that linked in the description box. Yeah, it's a Spectrum charger and it's new and it can do lithium uh, LiPo batteries and it can do lithium high volt batteries and that's how I charged these. I really like that charger a lot. Uh, this radio might be its only downfall. I mean, you'll get used to it eventually and yeah, you gotta take shortcuts to get the costs down. It got the job done, okay? But I think that I would probably enjoy this drone a little bit more if I bound it up to a hobby grade radio so bear that in mind overall I'm really happy with this I'm not going to use those goggles that came with this setup but you can again there's different versions of this maybe Abby and I will do our best to link each version in the description box below to make it easier for you guys if you're in the market for something like this go ahead and pull the trigger I highly recommend getting the fly more package get the 10 batteries have the extra batteries because this is worth the extra batteries and they're great batteries that come with it at least from what I've seen so far the high volt batteries it helps with the punch and I just felt like I had there were a couple times that I got really low to the ground and you need that punch to be able to climb out of that and on a 2s little race drone that's not very common to have that much punch brushless motors hey this is a great little thing all of the good stuff will be linked in the description box below. Before you guys go away, I want to say a huge thanks to all the names scrolling by and all of our patrons down in the description box below. We have a huge support team and we couldn't do this without you. Also, before you click away completely, there's a video popping up on screen right now we'd love for you to check out. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!